If you're struggling to get more views on YouTube right now, or you're seeing a decrease in the amount of views that you've been getting lately, it's probably because you're using outdated tips that just don't work anymore, or you've been lied to by somebody about how to actually grow on YouTube. And in this video, we're gonna fix all of that because I'm gonna share with you the four most common things that I see small channels doing on YouTube that are keeping them small. In fact, this channel just changed these things and gained over 30,000 subscribers in just 30 days. And this channel changed them also and gained over 50,000 subscribers. And they're no different than you. They were making these mistakes right now. I told them to stop doing it. They stopped doing it and they gained a ton of subscribers and I guarantee the same thing will happen to you so long as you're not using these four outdated tips. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, or you want to learn how to make money from these platforms, I literally upload a video about how to do that every day, so make sure you're subscribed. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course that you need to go to the link in the pinned comment below and get into right now. It's going to tell you the best hashtags to use and the best time to be posting on YouTube because if you're not doing those things right, then it's probably one of the reasons that you're not getting views right now. What are you waiting for? It's literally 100% free. Go to the link in the pinned comment below and get it right now. Mistake number one, I see so many YouTubers just turn their camera on and start recording before they have a script, before they've done some competitive analysis, and worst of all, before they came up with the hook of their video or the title of their video. You need to realize something. How many views you actually get on a video are going to come way before you ever even record or edit the video. The reason being is because the actual quality of the idea that you have, your title, and your hook of the video are going to matter more than anything else. Because if you can't keep people through the first three seconds of the video, you can't intrigue them with the title, or you can't signal to YouTube what audience they should actually be pushing the content to, that is why you're still a small YouTuber. And that is why you're going to be a small YouTuber forever until you figure out that before you turn on the camera, you need to make sure that you have your title down pat, your hook down pat, the audience that you're actually going after down pat to make sure that there even is an audience for the thing that you're about to post. And you need to make sure that you've done some competitive analysis. How does it compare to what other creators have done? What I would strongly suggest you do before you post about anything, you need to do a search for the topic, type in hashtag shorts, after it, look at the other videos. Look at the title they're using, look at the format they were created in, and look at the first three to five seconds of the video to actually learn how they hooked viewers in and make sure that your video does a much better job at that. Otherwise, you're not going to get views. The second piece of ad advice that I've been seeing all the time now, and this was a piece of good advice back in the day before shorts, was letting your videos breathe. You do not have to let your videos breathe anymore. In fact, the more that you post, the odds that the post that you did in the past actually ends up getting more views goes up because if you're doing your posts in the right manner and doubling down on topics, well then guess what happened? You expand into that topic, which one, makes your new video do much better, and two, makes your old video do much better because essentially what you wanna be doing, if you upload about crypto or fashion, or fitness, it doesn't matter what niche you're uploading. When you upload about that, then YouTube says, hey, people like this video, if they like the video. And then guess what happens? When you upload a new video, more people get shown it, but then those more people, if they like that video that you just uploaded, get shown all your old videos, which is why you need a catalog of content. So you should not be letting your post breathe for 10 days, for 14 days. And when I say don't let your post breathe, I'm not saying upload 12 times a day. All I'm saying is that you need to be uploading more frequently than not, because you need to make sure that you're doubling down on a topic when it actually works. For example, the Murdaugh trials have recently came out. There are a lot of people that do Reddit story times or story times or murder mysteries or fiction or non-fiction type stories on YouTube. And this is a great thing you would be chatting about. Or if you're an attorney, this is another great thing to be chatting about. The reason that it's great is because it's trending. But guess what? If you do a good post about it, but then you wait for it to breathe and wait three weeks to post again, well, then your opportunity is missed. And that's something I see so many small channels doing. The next mistake, and in fact, I was guilty about this when I first started on YouTube, is making the content all about you. The content should not be about you. The content needs to be about the audience or the content needs to be about something that the audience is actually interested in. If you make it just all about you, it's going to be the reason that you fail to grow on YouTube because you need to understand something. And once you get past this, it's way easier to put out content on YouTube because you're not judgmental and you're not scared to actually get in front of the camera. Nobody cares about you. They care about the story that you're telling. They care about what they're learning from you. They care about how you're entertaining them. That's all they care about. They don't actually care about you. And again, don't take this personally. I'm not saying that literally nobody cares about you. Of course people care about you. I'm just saying this is an easy way for you to actually get out of your head and just start putting out content and ultimately putting out content that people are actually interested in. Because for people to be interested in you, you have to give them something to care about. And the only way that you're gonna do that is not by talking about you because nobody wants to hear you talk about you. They wanna hear you talk about things that they're interested in. They wanna hear you talk about things that are going to help them or they wanna be entertained by you. 
And this brings me to the last piece of advice, which is quality over quantity. You guys need to realize something. If you're a small channel right now on YouTube, you should take that piece of advice and throw it out the window because the only way you're ever going to get good at uploading shorts and knowing what titles to use and knowing what thumbnails to use is actually messing up. The people that tell you quality over quantity, guess what? They've already got a lot of subscribers. They've already put out quality. The only way that Mr. Beast got to where he is or A-Rack got to where he is or Ryan Trahan got to where he is is by messing up and you need to go through that same exact process. Or if you wanna get guaranteed more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, well then keep watching this video because I'm gonna share with you exactly how. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers in a 30 day period is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now, you literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.